Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel, guys. In today's video, I have a couch review on my new compound bow that I bought to replace the Bear Ranch. Guys, this is the SAS Scorpion. SAS stands for um, Southland Archery Products, okay? They are based out of California. This is a 28-inch axle-to-axle bow, okay? And it runs from 30 to 50 pounds, okay, in this model. All right, and the bow has the mods where you can change the draw lengths without needing a bow press, okay? And um, it's actually a really nice bow. Um, the only complaint I have about the bow itself is some of the, um, what do they call it? The coating, the camouflage coating, when they hydro dip it, is already coming off like right here on this side and then down here on that spot right there. But other than that, this is really nice. Now this bow is adjustable, sorry, I just hit the tripod, um, adjustable from, I know it goes out to 29 inches, so I'm guessing maybe like 13 inches to 29 inch draw length. And it's, it'll be great as a youth bow. Right now I have it set at 42 pounds, okay? Now the instruction manual it comes with looks like this, okay? You can buy a whole um, SAS Scorpy package from walmart.com for $179. I bought the bow itself for $155 because I knew I didn't need all the fancy um, accessories to go on it. I literally pulled everything off of the ranch. The Trophy Ridge sight, the Trophy Ridge stabilizer, the Trophy Ridge wrist sling all came from the ranch. These limb saver, um, the limb saver dampeners here I bought for the ranch itself. Now, the arrow rest didn't come with it. The whisker biscuit that's on the Bear White Tail 2 actually came from the ranch. This was one I had from another bow. It's just a three brush capture rest. And then the um, peep side actually came from the Matthews FX. When I gave it to Will, we took it out. And the D-loop material actually came from um, the bow medic kit that I have that came with my set of Allen wrenches when I took my archery technician course on bowtoonschool.com. Now, I just got the D-loop put on and the um, peep site put in buy Bass Pro Shops for 10 bucks. If you guys bring in your own stuff, they'll do that. I did not feel comfortable putting a flame next to a brand new bowstring and all that stuff, so I let them do it. The um, quiver, this I actually bought for the rant. Um, it is a trophy taker sawtooth one, and it's actually like fully adjustable. You can slide it up and down, and these actually these are rubber, and they're really really nice. Um, so yeah, 155 bucks from walmart.com just for the bow. When I got it though, it was set, it was maxed out at 50 pounds. I couldn't pull it back and I can pull back 50 pounds. So I loosened them up myself here and I'm pulling, like I said, 42 pounds is what he said it was at. And that, that's fine with me. I put... All the accessories on here except for the D-loop and the peep sight and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, this bow is actually made in Taiwan. The instruction manual that comes with it is not very clear. Look at this, guys. I'll show you guys how. So the first page is blank, right? So like I said, here's the front. Here's the inside. When it shows you this about draw length, it's telling you how to change the draw poundage and how many turns to do. So it really doesn't de describe this at all. And if I didn't know anything about compound bows or anything, I'd be really confused. Okay? And wouldn't even know what the heck, you know, like it talks about that kind of stuff. See, but it just shows the diagram and doesn't even go into anything else. So, but yeah, this thing's pretty neat. Um, I had, I, these, it's got these little 
string dampeners I'm guessing that's what these are right here the bow itself I believe weighs like three or four pounds without um, any of the accessories on it I got it in the green camouflage okay which looks really cool all right um from the looks of it if you guys see it's kind of got like a, a weird shelf here like an overdraw shelf like one of the bows from the late 80s early 90s would have had on it but uh, this is actually part of the grip and i believe you, you can undo this allen screw right here and actually take this part of the grip off and put a different grip on there but i have no idea i haven't done it yet um, I won't be able to shoot it tomorrow. I'm going to go see some family. So that's why I wanted to do a couch review for you guys. And uh, show off the, the new bow. I like the shorter axle to axle bows. I'm going from a 36 inch axle to axle bow to a 28. And the bear rant was a, a 31.5 inch axle to axle. So yeah, pretty neat. You know, you can adjust it just by undoing these screws like a normal compound bow. <coughs> I'm sorry. But yeah. The only markings this thing has on it right here to know that it's 50 pound limbs is this white thing right here. This is CB50. So yeah. Pretty nice. And I just threw this thing together with all the components that I had from the other bow. Um, advertisement FPS on this bow, I think it's like 270, maybe, um, but if I can draw it sitting down out of a blind and everything, then that's awesome. It does have a really nice string stop down here, rubber, real squishy. The string doesn't seem to be very bad quality on it at all. Um, as far as drawing it and everything it's like a really short draw cycle and then it just stops there's no real valley there's nothing right back and i don't know if it's because it's a really short axle to axle bow that i'm not used to like a really long valley and then it get, breaks over or anything like that but guys expect a shooting video in a couple of days and we'll be taking this thing hunting i'm putting the autox ox pro in my bow case and my shed as a backup bow so yeah guys this thing's pretty neat if you guys are looking for a cheap bow i I highly recommend it. There are a few videos of this bow online. So, Southland Archery or the SAS Scorpy 28 inch axle to axle compound bow. Pretty sweet. Remember, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.